Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here. Whew. Wow. Uh. Yes, yes. You you probably watched this video so I could hate on the movie. Uh, yes, I did hate this movie, but let me just explain something here. First, first of all, did we ever ask for a sequel to Independence Day? I mean, look, it took 20 years to make a Dumber and Dumber sequel after the train wreck Dumb and dumber -er when Harry met Lloyd, but Dumb and Dumber 2, I can say I did enjoy for what it was. I mean, at least it had something different. It wasn't about the same thing, unlike this film. Oh my god. This movie gets a 33% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I don't know what it gets on IMDb. I haven't checked, but... I was going to go and see this movie, but I did not end up getting to. Let me just say thank God for that, because this movie was... Bleh. It took 20 years... 20 years after the first movie... Now, the first movie I liked, okay, I didn't think it was great, but I liked it for what it was. I did, I, I will say it has some really good special effects. It has entertaining moments. Will Smith does a really good job in it. This movie doesn't even feel like a sequel. It feels more like a remake. Why? Because for one reason, it doesn't have Will Smith in it. It stars um Jeff Goldblum, which I like Jeff Goldblum. I... He was great in the remake of The Fly. I can't remember what else he was in. But anyways, uh, or at least anything that he was in that was good. But, yeah. First of all, the phrase for this movie doesn't even make sense. We always knew they, they were coming back. Actually, no, we didn't. We never knew they were coming back. Alright, so the film is basically, of course, after the first Independence Day, uh, alright, no, alright, using, uh, alien technology, the national, or the nations of Earth have calibrated on immense defense program to protect the planet. But nothing can prepare us for the aliens advanced in unpre a fort and I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyways, only the Ingenuity of a few brave men and women can bring our world back from the brink of extinction. And yeah, this movie's pretty much the same thing. That's the reason, that's pretty much one of the reasons why nobody liked it that much. And this movie has decent special effects. I will give it that, that's the only thing I liked. Some of the CGR effects were alright. The rest were like, blah. I mean, this movie was just so boring. Like, really. It was just two hours of boringness, pretty much. And I was not entertained. I was so glad that I did not see this in theaters. But anyways, the characters I didn't really care for. I wasn't interested in any of the characters in the movie. I don't pretty much care for any of the characters in this movie. And I just wish that they could have just done something better, not try to make it like the first movie. It's pretty much about the same thing, yeah. It did not deliver anything for me. It was just a sci-fi snooze, like Allegiant. But anyways, guys, this movie gets half a star out of five. Yeah, I hated it that much. It was worse. I'm just going to say it. 
It's even worse than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows. Or out of the shitter, like I like to call it. But my god, I don't recommend this movie. I can't believe that this movie isn't even out on Blu-ray yet, and I just got done watching it today. I didn't see it in the theaters, no. I rented it for free with my with my dad. I'm not going to say how I, I was able to do that, but that is it, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.